Hello everyone, Silent Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Balloon Star Defense. Uh, well, another episode in the Balloon Star Defense series. Um, this is Balloon Star Defense 3. Uh, this is probably one of the most, like, hyped ones for me when I was younger, and I was just like, yes, it's about time, because I always just played Balloon Star Defense 2 uh, with my cousin, like I always said in uh, the previous episodes. But in this um, new game, we have eight different tracks, and, uh, four new, uh, towers. Well, not towers, necessarily, but, um, just things to use in the game. Um, so to begin with, we're just gonna go on easy on the first map. Uh, we're gonna complete the whole game, don't worry, but I'm going to cut out, um, most of the later levels after we actually, you know, figure out how the rounds work for the first three um, difficulties on this map. Okay, so I think we're gonna start off with a cannon. Um, since we're doing easy, should be fairly simple. Um, hmm. I'll just place it right here. Hmm. You know, I don't really know. Okay, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, it's just normal rounds, just red balloons and stuff for a bit. Uh, so the new uh, tower for us is a spike bolt, uh, which is just a catapult with spikes, and uh, it can pop several balloons, and uh, can be upgraded with uh, triple shot and other stuff um, that'll make it really dangerous uh, to have. But I don't normally use it just because I feel like I prefer using the other towers in this game, but I will use it since it is a new tower in this game. Um, yeah, I'm good so far. There's also the monkey beacon, which increases the attack range of all stuff within the beacon area and can also increase attack speed and other powerful abilities in it too. Um, this balloon is gonna have to go through, but this cannon should handle it. And we still have the ice ball like previously. Uh, we still have the super monkey. I'm pretty sure it's a lot cheaper than it was in the, in the previous two predecessors. <laughs> in the previous two predecessors. Um, let's see, and, uh, we also have a new pineapple, uh, which is like a new, like, road thing to use. Ooh, actually, oh, you got it, wow, good job. Uh, I think this one might need, oh, nice. No, oh, wow, what a clutch. Okay, well, anyway, what I was saying was, you know, how road spikes and glue you place on the track, well, you also place pineapples on the track, and they'll blow up. I don't know, don't, don't explain to me why the physic, the physics in the, or how the physics works in that, how pineapples explode, but just does just does work and then finally we have um this top secret classified uh tower uh thingamajig but um it's not really that like hard to figure out now what it is um okay this guy needs help so i'm gonna put attack shooter right here and with some faster shooting so these first few rounds should be relatively easy even though i want to like show how the rounds are built up they're normally the same as the last game but i'm pretty sure there's some differences and obviously new balloons, but I'm pretty sure the new balloons are mostly later in the game. Well, in the level. Come on, you got it. Nice, nice, nice. 50 balloons heading down next. I'm ready. I'm ready. Honestly, the 50 balloons was just a money farm, so that was nice. And now I'm going to save up for this uh, new tower, Monkey Beacon. Just to show it off in this episode. Um, and then maybe next episode I'll show Well, I mean, I could buy this later on, but... Uh, first thing I'm going to get is the monkey beacon, because that is, I don't know, the most unique tower, new, new thing to come out of this. Well, maybe this is, but uh, we'll see when we get to that point. Right, enough of the monkey beacon. I'm trying to fit it somewhere here. Right, nice. So I'm pretty sure this extends the range. Oh, okay, well now he's missing more. <laughs> That's actually very unfortunate that I have to waste some road spikes on easy. Come on, guys. Come on. I'll get you some blade shooters. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now he's crushing it. Now now this guy's crushing it. I like how he has, like, bl like, camouflage on around him now. Camouflage skin. It's pretty lit. Ah! I wasn't paying attention. Well, at least one road spike was enough to take care of that. Okay. Well, that just shows that I need a better, better defense. Um... Um, what I usually do when I, what I usually did when I was younger was just spam a bunch of attack shooters right around this edge. So, 
I think I'm going to do that and see how that works out. Actually, what I really need is to upgrade this bomb tower or cannon. They change it to cannon in this game uh, to bigger bombs. And uh, maybe that'll help out a little bit more. Oh, rainbow balloon. Not gonna mess with me today. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. I really need something to take care of those, or that, um, well yeah, just in general, those uh, yellow balloons. So, I'm gonna put a monkey right here, is this alright? Hopefully. Let's see if I can squeeze it in here a little more. That's good, that's good. Piercing darts, why not? <laughs> yeah, it looks like this tax shooter spam is kind of working a bit. Uh, hopefully no yellows will get through now, though, because that seems to be my only trouble at this point. Uh, well, actually, I guess the rainbow is what caused that trouble. Yeah, looks like it's under control. All right, bigger bombs for this bad boy. There we go. And uh, this new upgrade in this game is uh, frag bombs. I'm pretty sure it's the new upgrade. <laughs> I hope I didn't forget about that in the second game, but I don't think there was any frag bombs, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, frag bombs uh, will pop out uh, after it explodes and cut down more balloons after the explosion and it can also pop black balloons so that's kind of neat um so cannons actually aren't completely vulnerable to black balloons in this game oh yeah and if you hadn't noticed there's uh two upgrades to uh both the paths in this game so now there's a total of four upgrades per uh per tower um although i'm pretty sure some have three like um like this uh monkey beacon but i'm not quite sure yeah, we dealt with those leads last round pretty nicely. Pretty nicely indeed. Uh, extra range and missile launcher. And that's also, I'm pretty, I'm 100% sure that's new to this game. <laughs> and the flavor text said that this next level will be a doozy. Uh, let's see if they're right. Oof, I'm a little laggy for some reason. Uh, it just always seems to be laggy in this, uh, on this website whenever I'm playing balloons. But I think, I think it's not too bad. Uh, when uh, the end product comes around. I'm not sure if the ice ball um, is any useful in this game as much as it has been in the past. Um, but I'm going to try it anyway because I want to get a taste of every tower in this game. Uh, let's put it right here. That's good. It's in this radius so it'll uh, be uh, more useful. Uh, permafrost, yeah, wider radius of course, snap freeze. Oh yeah, and this is a, a nice upgrade that actually makes this a little more useful in this game. And it actually pops, oh, well now the radius increased if you just saw that. But Snap Freeze will help uh, pop some balloons now every time it freezes something, so that'll definitely be helpful. Uh, although in this game it says some balloons. I'm not sure if that means like actually just a chance that the balloons will pop and not every all of them. Because in, in the future ones, Snap Freeze makes all of the balloons that it freezes pops. But... We shall see. We uh, we will experiment in this uh, first episode. Not sure if I would do long darts on this monkey though because of this ice ball now. Because if it freezes anything, anything that it tries to hit over here uh, will actually not be that useful in in, uh, in buying this just because it will cancel out the darts effect on a frozen balloon. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, no range for you, buddy. No range for you. Okay, I think it's time I save up for the super monkey and place it right next to this beacon. That's how it uh, becomes the most effective in this game, right next to the beacon. Oh, all right, there goes the lag spike that uh, was happening. Uh, time to actually zoom through these levels while it's not lagging. Thank you, game, or thank you, Ninja Kiwi, Kiwi website, because that's probably what was causing the lag a bit there. Now look at this, look how smooth it is now. If I remember correctly, yes, 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 I, I, I remembered. So those are the new balloons that you just saw right there, which are called ceramic balloons. Um, they take nine shots to pop, and then after they pop, they release two rainbow balloons. So they're pretty deadly. Uh, they don't feel as deadly in this game as in future games, but they're they're pretty bad. They're pretty bad, I guess. Um, I used to call, when I was younger, I used to call them ceramic I think, right? C C ceramic balloons. Uh, I didn't know how to pronounce ceramic. Oh, uh, silly. Not as bad as my younger brother calling Club Penguin Chub Penguin within a ch. So, 
you know, I could have been way off with ceramic. Oh yeah, I have enough for a super monkey. Let me do that real quick. Uh, ideally, I'd put it here, but this is easy, so I don't really, won't really complain too much. Oh, that's a lot of balloons. Yeah, okay, I just realized that this is some balloons, because I just saw some balloons freeze, and they didn't, uh, um, they didn't pop. So, yeah, this game, this is correct, that it only pops some of the balloons, it freezes. Which is no problem, this is easy, I'm not going to complain too much. I'm saving up for laser vision, just so I can actually pop the frozen balloons. It'll become a little more useful. There we go. And double popping power. Oh yeah, so this is also new to this game, Plasma Vision. Um, I feel like sometimes in future games, I've noticed that it's not as effective as laser vision. Uh, I don't know why, I think it's maybe because it doesn't have double shots when, when you use it. But it does have more popping power, so that's why it's obviously an upgrade. But, um, I don't know, I always saw laser vision as the, as the, as the nice upgrade to get. Ooh, oh, oh, new balloon, new balloon. That was the Moab. I might die from it. Come on, Mr. Monkey, you got this, you got this, you got this, you got this, you got this. No, you don't. Apparently you don't have it. And, wow. Okay, well, I think you maybe you had it, maybe <laughs> So yeah, that was the, the MOAB, stands for Massive Ordinary Air Blimp, which, not mother of our, blah, 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 <laughs> not mother of all balloons, um, which is what it's trying to tell you that uh, it's supposed to mean, but it's not, it's trying to trick you. That uh, balloon contains four cer- I was about to say ceramic, <laughs> just, I'm having a shit show. So that balloon has four ceramic balloons, uh, which in turn have eight rainbow balloons inside all of them respectively. Uh, well, too respectively and yeah that that can uh cause an issue uh, and the moab obviously took hundreds of hits to uh to take down there um so if you're not uh if you don't have a tough defense that thing will chew you up and uh yeah letting that thing through you die automatically no matter what like you're screwed like 100 lives <laughs> game over but uh your defense must be terrible if you can't even pop the moab by the time it gets there so all right, I have enough for jungle drums, which increases the attack speed of any monkeys in the area. Uh, so the super monkey will shoot a lot faster. Uh, well, not a lot, but it, it'll, it'll be enough, a, a good benefit. Um, so it does say monkeys, so I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect the cannons or the ice balls or the attack shooters. Anything that has a monkey, like the, the boomerang or the spike bolt, it'll uh, help out a bit. All right, here, let's try out the spike bolt just so I can uh, show it off to you guys. Uh, I'll just put it here. Even, this is a terrible spot for it, but I'm going to put it here anyway just so it gets in the range of this monkey beacon. Um, long range, sure. Fast reload, sure. Juggernaut is pretty nice because it rolls pretty far. And multi-shot I'm going to get after uh, I get enough money for that. It's actually pretty cheap. These upgrades are pretty cheap. But yeah, this is a spike bolt It just hurls... Uh, these giant spiked balls um, They are pretty nice against uh, like ceramics uh, Well, they're meant to be really nice in ceramics in later later uh, Games, but they're still pretty good in this game against them Holy shoot. I am getting overwhelmed here Can you guys handle this? Can you guys handle this? Can you guys handle this? Oh, I really need to get plasma vision up and running You guys got this? You guys got this? All right, all good Need a cash injection? Yes. Here's 100 yellows right after 9 browns. Sorry, it is level 42 after all. Oh, they call it browns in this game? Brown balloons? Yeah. Yeah. I thought they named it uh, ceramic, but I guess maybe they just call it browns in this game. Unless I missed the flavor text where it said ceramic and they just um, intertwine, like, between brown and ceramic. They don't really care. Alright, I got the plasma vision. Pretty sure it's a lot better than laser vision in this game, but um, like I said earlier, in later renditions, it's kind of like it feels like not much of an upgrade, but it is still. But yeah, it looks like it's crushing in this game. Oh my goodness! Okay, maybe we'll need epic range for this. Oof! Dude, this thing covers the whole map. This is insane. They kind of made the super monkey OP in this game, but yeah, if you don't have one. Um, 
you could still survive anyway because uh, everything else is uh, not that balanced either, in my opinion. But maybe when we're get, I mean, we're on easy right now, honestly. So we might have trouble later. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, now that I'm done with the Super Monkeys upgrades, I'm going to upgrade this final upgrade for uh, the Monkey Beacon, which is to upgrade it to Monkey Storm Beacon. Because if you were wondering what this question mark was about, it is this upgrade. And now we can call a monkey storm. Ooh, another Moab. Man, they really need... I'm glad they worked on the sound of the Moab's hits in the later games, because if you just heard that, it was just... Like that. Like, in my ears. I hope it's quiet enough for you guys. Anyway, like I was saying, this uh, monkey storm, which is a wave of super monkeys, and just destroys every single balloon on the map. So if you're having uh, trouble in this game, just call this in. It does cost money, and it's a one. It's not a one-time use, but I'm pretty sure it has to be charged. So, but if you're having trouble, boom, clears up everything, no problem. Um, sometimes the road spikes are probably the more useful thing to use in the moment, but I like using this because it just looks cool. And I'm going to use this for uh, the second to last level, or maybe the last round on this, just so we can uh, show it off. Okay, maybe we have to show it off in this level. If you can handle this super monkey, that'd be nice. And looks looking good, yep. Yeah. Alright, perfect. Not not a problem, I guess. Not a problem. Okay, well here we go. Super monkey plasma shoots even faster than laser vision. So I guess in this game it seems to be uh, a lot more useful. Um I'm gonna place another one though, because why not? The more the merrier. Is this in its range? Yep. And or maybe I'll put it over here. Yeah, sure, why not? And we'll put some range on it. Oof, there's a lot of balloons coming through right now. But I'm pretty sure two super monkeys can handle this pretty nicely. Yep. Oh, and the game returned to smoothness. Nice. I like the smooth smooth frames. Um, hopefully it'll keep up by the time we uh, finish this level. And here's another laser vision monkey. I don't think I'll be able to get the plasma vision by the end of this, but we shall see. And, oof. Oh, yeah, you know what? I haven't shown off the pineapples, so here we go. Brrr. Yeah, they just they just blow up. Nicely done. Getting difficult yet? A little bit, a little bit. But, yeah, they just blow up, and it looked like it did a lot there, but they're, they're hit or miss. I'm going to use a boomerang for the heck of it because we haven't used it. Because uh, they just added Glaive Thrower in this game, which pops a little more balloons. And also Thermite, which uh, can pop lead balloons. So, they're pretty useful in this game, but I just didn't um, bother with it because I didn't really need to. It's only uneasy, so not a problem. Ooh, do I need the Monkey Storm? Nope. Not even a little. Got some Plasma Vision going in here, though. And now we're on the final round. Uh, I didn't read the flavor text, but you guys can read it. Maybe I'll just put it up on the screen real quick. Um, but yeah, final level. And I'm pretty sure there are two mobs in this, but no problem for double super monkeys and a call monkey storm, which I'm going to do to show it off. I am... Pops everything. Pops everything nice and easy for us. And now, just two mobs to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem. Once they pop, it's just four ceramics each and they're gone. Ooh. Done so. Woo. And there we go. Congratulations. Pass tracked one on easy. Uh, so yeah, I got the bronze medal on that. Nice and simple. Uh, I'm going to do medium and hard uh, in separate episodes, but after track one is done, uh, every track from now on will just be its own episode. Um, just so I show off the difficulties in, in their own episodes, and then after that, they'll be uh, by track. Um, I'm also going to do real quick before we end this episode, uh, free play mode, which is just basically endless after this. Uh, it gets pretty hard pretty quickly. Uh, mobs, the amount of mobs they send, uh, will kill you within like seven rounds. So I'll just cut, a, cut like to the hard levels just so, uh, it wouldn't take much time. Cause free play, it's not really important to, to see cause you're not really gaining anything from it. You just want to see how long you last. You know, easy, you probably will last a while. So, I'll just see how long I last with this certain defense. And monkey storms I can use. 
Okay, I lied. I got under the super monkey. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, just look at the power. There's so many. This mob can't even be... This mob will be stopped so easily by three of these. Alright, this might be the end for me. There's four, or not four, two mobs right near the exit. And I'm not sure if my super monkeys can handle this. Woof! Man, these guys are unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, doesn't look like I'm going to last any longer than 60. Probably not even going to make it to 60. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I'm going to lose here. Call the Super Monkey Storm. Oh, it's over. 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 Okay, whatever. <laughs> I made it around 57. That's that's pretty that's pretty nice. I feel like I always make it around 57 and then I just get wrecked. But, um, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Jeez, look how many balloons are just getting through. You, I mean, you guys, we lost, but you guys can keep killing them. Like, come on now. Okay, well, anyway, next episode we will do this track again and on medium, and then we'll do it on hard. Um, there's a slight chance I might just do them, do it both on medium and hard, but, um, probably not. Uh, but if I do, then, uh, you'll just see the episode then. Um, just because, I don't know. I don't know what medium will add. I just feel like going up to hard will just immediately feel make things a little more difficult. So we'll see what, that, see what I decide in the next episode. But for now, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to post a Red Alert video after this, um, after this gets posted. And then hopefully this will follow another Toontown episode. Um, I'm going to try to work on making a schedule now that I'm about to head back to college. Uh, I'm doing online, but you know, I'm still heading back per se. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about this map. It looks so cute. It's a monkey in like a, a cake thing of a jig for Christmas. I don't know. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and peace out.